All right, you guys, we're back, and I have been working and researching and working on uh, a few different things. The um, melon farm and the mushroom farm. So I came up with two ideas that I want to show you guys and work on today. Um, well, one idea per thing is what I found. And um, this I made up myself, but the other one I think has been around for a long time for the melon farm. Um, this is basically, like, probably the most basic thing that you could ever have for a mushroom farm. So the mushrooms, um, like, have a chance of spawning next to them, um, a mushroom next to them. And it's a very slow process. I haven't gotten one. I don't think there is one behind it, but it will uh, eventually spawn mushrooms um so every once in a while if we walk into this room and we can check it we can do it and it's just a piston behind there and um it'll just flow water down and pop out all of these for us so we'll be all good just by a pressure plate right there uh and then over here we got the melon farm and i actually have one growing so a pumpkin um, so what this is is just pistons so we just go boop pops it out um, and we're gonna have a hopper here eventually and this is gonna be encased in glass but uh, yeah um, put that right there uh, yeah what we got is a very simple way to get a lot of um, uh, pumpkins and stuff there is a way to automate it I saw the original um, video was about making it so that whenever there's a tick update and it adds um, a pumpkin, it'll automatically pop it out. Which I'm not sure if I want to go automated with it or not. Just because, here's my thing. Um, when you start to automate stuff, I feel like it can get become boring. Um, there's certain things that I think are okay to automate and certain things that I feel like I don't know, shouldn't be automated. I guess in truth, I probably will end up automating it um, later on down the road just because, really? I only get one? <sighs> Screw me over. Um, yeah, I may end up automating that for us in the future, but right now, I'm okay with what it is right now. It requires two sticky pistons, um, and I don't have slime balls, so... That's one thing we need to get is, um, I don't need a pickaxe. What am I doing? Where's my, there it is. So I need to build a slime farm at some point, which is very, pretty easy to make. This does nothing. Um, so I want to build another one of those, um, little mushroom farms. Show you guys how everything works, um, with them. And, uh, basically... We just need to make sure that we are away from this part, okay? So, I th think the water is going to end up being right here. No. If this is the entrance where we're going to be standing, water will come around. Actually, we're going to be standing right here. Now that I think about it, close that up, okay? We're going to be standing right here, so what we need is we need to have this closed up because we don't want water getting to that redstone. That, I believe, is where the uh, mushroom is going to be. Yep. So our piston is actually going to be right here. Okay, we'll put a little bit of a torch right there. Uh, dig down one. Boop. Right there. And then we just need to wire this up, which is literally like the simplest wiring I've ever done. Um, which. You know what? It's going to be a little dark. Well, in reality, we're just going to put a torch here and put a torch here so it doesn't really, truly matter. Um, what we need now 
Let's, this is going to go down to here. And um, it's going to go underneath. So right here is where the redstone will end. Do -do. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear. Hold on. My mom's babysitting some kids, so they might speak. And if they do, it may be a little loud. I can hear them. I hope you guys can't. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where, where we're looking at is... Okay, so this will come down like this. Step here, step here. Perfect. All right. And then up like this. Ooh. Hello. I like that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and close this off like that. Oh. All right. Hold on, guys. It's really noisy out there, and um, I need to check and make sure you guys can't hear it. Okay, you guys, I'm back. It actually doesn't sound like it's too loud, so I'm sorry for being paranoid. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're just going to close this off here. And if we put a pressure plate, if we make a pressure plate, if we put a pressure plate right oops, underneath, we should... Get this thing to move. Yep. We just need water now. Okay, perfect. Uh, put a sign right here. That stops the water from flowing. Um, that way we can uh, not have a water catastrophe every time we want to get some mushrooms. I wonder if one day they're going to nerf that. Be interesting to see. Uh, and then all we need is one mushroom. And stick that right up here does it have to be see this is diorite so maybe it can't be cobblestone I've never in my life seen that or not diorite andesite all right let's try that what is it the light level Maybe. Looks like the other side was three high, so let's make this three high. Uh, put this here. Okay. Hold on one second. Can I place this block now? Yes, I can. Okay. Now, some of you guys may be saying, Jay, it doesn't grow in um, light levels this high. That's not true because I've had it grow right here. It just takes a while to do a tick update. So you'll see um, we will be rocking some mushrooms pretty soon, but it takes a while. So these, I've had um, a brown mushroom and a red mushroom out here and for a while now and they just barely um started growing so um it takes a while but i wanted to get this sort of accomplished so that we have uh the ability to come in here and just pop pop and then afterwards if there was any we can collect it um nothing really really big let's go see if we have any melons or pumpkins nope uh, right now, I don't want to separate these out. I was thinking about um, separating them. Oop, grew it before our eyes. Uh, but the problem that I have with separating them out is that um, that's two farms, and I have to build more pistons and all sorts of things. And I think it's just easier just to have it like this. Um, the one thing that I don't like is uh, oftentimes when you hit the pumpkin it doesn't go straight forward and I wish there was some way to make it so that that was the case it kinda pops out and it doesn't go forward it just kinda pops up instead of out and I don't like that very much 
But um, yeah. So what else do I want to get to today? Today I want to work on a little bit of building. Um, I want to get some cows out and uh, into this area, but I just don't think that's possible at the moment. Do we have a lot of dirt? The answer is no. I'll be right back. I'm going to go up to the surface and get some dirt, and I'll be back with ya in a minute. Okay, so we've got uh, tons of dirt now, and all I wanted to do... Which I don't. Oh, that's why. All I wanted to do was just add some grass up. Uh, get rid of the button. Button. Um, I just wanted to add some grass up there. Now, uh, when I was watching Ethos' um, video, I noticed he like just spread grass all throughout the cave system. I don't want to do that because I honestly do not want to tackle the entire cave in one foul swoop. I uh, just am interested in getting some grass into specific areas here. Where did they all go? Oh, they're all out here. Do, 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 do. Um, we're going to be adding some pistons around this area. Um, I'm not sure which wall. Actually, it's probably all going to get changed Again, I'm going to move it to an area that I can have a good system set up for that. Um, where we'll have one little block here. Actually, I think there's a high efficiency way of doing it. Uh, that I'll have to research. But I know the basic mechanics because I did it in my old base in Jay's Adventures. And I just need to carry it over into here. But there's a lot of automation that needs to be done. Uh, some of you guys may be asking, Jay, when's the... Um, when are you going to be doing more uh, collaborations with other people? Uh, it's coming soon. Don't worry. Um, right now, a lot of people are busy up through the Christmas season. Um, so we need to kind of like... I, I think a lot of us are just kind of uh, in this lull, but... We are trying to get the uh, get ourselves ready for the Ender Dragon fight, um, and I think a lot of us are uh, working together pretty hard to to get there. 